lineup in the last ball game. On second and four, this is Marlon Mack. And Mack across the 35-yard line. And, and it's Mack again. And not much doing there. Former first-round pick. Mack trying to reverse field and get to the outside. And Mack is only going to get a yard out of that one. Third down and nine. Irvin coming off the edge. Luck steps up, dumps it down. It's complete to Mack. And Mack has the first. In practice, one of the things that you don't want to do, you don't want the ball to hit the ground at all. Because normally, that starting quarterback might have a bet against the backup quarterback as to who buys the night head in. They pitch it to Mack. And Marlon Mack jumps ahead for an Indianapolis. On first down, Luck going to the air. Good protection. Has time. Nobody there. Now finds Mack. And Marlon Mack out of bounds at the 27. Six touchdowns. As Luck hands it off to Mack. And he's looked good early in this ball game. We met with Marlon Mack last night. And he said that he feels more patient this year in finding the hole. And he also thinks the game has slowed down a bit for him now in his second year. The thing that I always find interesting in our meetings, when guys walk in, they're either bigger than what we thought, smaller. We all thought when Mack walked out of the room, we said, he's not a real big guy. But he looks different once you put the pads on. He looks like. Now a handoff, and it's Marlon Mack bouncing to the outside. And Mack has shoved out of bounds right here. The, the linebackers step up. There's not a clear guy to make the tackle. The offensive linemen are working and grinding, and Mack does a great job in bouncing it to the outside. And once he's dominated by the Colts. Mack trying to get that first down, and he does. He's always been a small guy. It's Mack following his blocks to the right side. And Mack gets a cut. And a handoff to Mack. Mack with some room on the left side across the 35. But you get little gaps in Costanzo. Nice job moving it through. Hand off to Mack. And Mack picks up with Gruden, continues to grow. And they've certainly been in sync today as Marlon Mack breaks free. Marlon Mack. With one man back, can Mack get there? He is pushed out of bounds. Carl Joseph forced him out. But a big run by Marlon Mack. Once again, that left side of the line, Anthony Costanzo, who missed a couple of games. You wall off and then Doyle down the field, number 84. Guys just staying active, staying on blocks, and Mack running at that track. Didn't even have to deviate. Once he put that left foot in the ground, just head up the field. A career-long run of 49 yards for Marlon Mack. And he takes the Colts all the way down to the Oakland Truck. Three for his last 10, even though that wasn't on him. And now Mack on the ground gets a couple on of On their feet on third and goal. Handoff up the middle. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. How about the call by Frank Reich? Putting it on the ground with Mack. And now the Colts an extra point away from tying it up. You split them out, you reduce the number of players in the box, and you make it Mack one-on-one. -on -one. Sure, there's an unblocked defender in the hole, but you let Marlon Mack lower his shoulder. By the time Gilchrist gets there, Marlon Mack is already at the goal line. From the 43-yard line. And Marlon Mack gets the first down carry across the 45 and tackled near midfield. And off to Mack. Mack, 110 yards and a touchdown. You know, he has a suddenness about him, a, a shiftiness. He's almost like a mini Eric Dickerson because he's not a thick, stout running back. A little bit upright. Coach Tom Rathman mentioned that to me, that he'd like him once in a while to get his shoulders down a little bit more. But you can't argue with today's production. Another handoff to Mack, trying the right side. Mack bounces it the way toward the sideline. And Hand it off to Mack again, up the middle. And Mack still going. And thrown back at the 417 today. Mack trying to add to the total. Mack to the one and push back. Got a one-on-one -on -one against Gilchrist, the safety back there. Mack up the middle. Can he get in? Luck says he did. No signal yet. He's in. And now we do a touchdown. One-on-one -on -one against Gilchrist, the safety back there. Mack up the middle. Can he get in? Luck says he did. No signal yet. He's in. And now we do a touchdown. Second of the day for Marlon Mack. And the Doug Martin fumble proves costly here for the Raiders.
first and second round pick investments. Left tackle Quentin Nelson, Braden Smith, who played some guard early, has been moved to tackle as a starter. You're running right behind that right side of the line, and it used to be in the old days. The left side was for pass blocking. The right side. Was